So, yesterday, Apple came up at the stage and gave us a preview of some new software. They released the new versions of iOS, iPadOS and macOS. And also, they stated that they will be making a transition from Intel to Apple's own in-house made Apple Silicon. So, let's get started. amazing and some of the most wanted features to iOS. First of all, Apple is very proud of its new widgets, that it brings it up to the home screen now. Now you can set various widgets that give you information at a glance. Also, they have an app drawer in iOS which is just great as it helps you to find all the apps that you want very easily and clear up some of the clutter from your home screen. Also, they brought a feature called as App Clips, which basically downloads a very small portion of an app uh, so you can interact with it and also make payments with the half downloaded app. Also, there is the new Siri, which now does not take the full screen when you call Siri. Now, it only takes up the bottom portion of the screen. Also, calls come in a notification form and do not take over your whole screen. Also, Apple Maps gets a new update uh, as now it provides special routes just for bicycling. iPadOS 14 has a lot of similarities with iOS 14. It has the same widgets, the same app clips, the same app drawer, with the exception that uh, the Apple Pencil has a new scribble feature, which means that you can write anywhere you want you don't have to put the pencil down you can search with it you can uh, make notes with it and you can do many things more with it mac os big sur mac os big sur is the newest and the biggest update of the keynote so this is the mac os 11 i don't know if you caught that in the keynote it has been mac os 10.1 10.2 for a while and this is the biggest change since mac os 10 started so the macOS Big Sur is mostly a design over. So all the icons have rounded corners now and I don't like that much but that is not a big deal. But the new icons are great. Uh, there is also a new quick settings which uh, looks like it is for more touch based design. And also the widgets uh, from the iOS and the iPadOS came to the notification center. Also the big thing here is the transition from Intel to Apple Silicon. The transition from x86 to ARM. Tim Cook says that it will take about two years to completely transition from Intel to Apple Silicon. And these new Macs will be very fast. Some of them even containing 12 core processors. That is just amazing. But there was no new Mac announced. Um, unlike one Mac, which is only for the developers so that they can uh, get their apps up and running on the new Macs as fast as possible. So guys, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and make sure that you like the video, share it with your friends and turn on the post notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.